A mobile device may contain your personal information and invaluable recollections of your photographs and videos taken each day with your family and friends. Now, these priceless memories can never be replaced at any cost. However, with unfortunate events like getting your phone damaged, stolen, or lost, which may lead to complete data loss, you may have to depend on third-party cloud storage services to back up your important files. But why pay expensive monthly subscriptions for iCloud or Google Drive when you can easily back up your iOS devices for free? Securely back up your photos and videos from your iOS device to the free disk space of your PC or Mac in the comfort of your own home. What's more, it's 100% free only with Assay Mobile. Back up and restore your iOS data faster by transferring your data through your home Wi-Fi network, along with the convenience and accessibility of having your photos and videos from your mobile device stored locally on your PC or Mac. Assay Mobile will give you total peace of mind that your important or private photos and videos will never get leaked over the internet due to vulnerabilities, mishandling, or issues with external service providers. By using Assay Mobile to backup your iOS devices, enjoy the other smart features to make your backup more convenient and efficient, such as automated backup, backup while charging only, power saving mode, free up space, and retention policy. To learn more how to backup your photos and videos from your iOS devices, let's go to my screen and keep on watching. Before diving into the process of backing up your iOS data through Assay Mobile, Let's start by installing the Assay Mobile application from the App Store. Note that Assay Mobile works for iOS versions that are at least version 12 or above. From your phone screen, go to the App Store. Search for Assay Mobile or check the link in the description below. Tap Get or the Install icon. If applicable, input your Apple password, then tap Sign In, or use the Touch ID by placing your enrolled fingerprint on the Touch sensor or Face ID on the front camera. After successfully installing the Assay Mobile app on your iOS device, register your device for mobile backup and restore on Assay OBM or Assay ACB. To do this, do the following steps. Open Assay OBM or Assay ACB. Go to Settings, then select Mobile Backup. Click Add. As we have already installed Assay Mobile, scan the QR code using the Assay Mobile app. Ensure that the device used for the Assay Mobile app is connected to the Wi-Fi on the same local network as the Assay OBM or Assay ACB machine. Failure to do so will prevent the Assay Mobile app from pairing with Assay OBM. Open Assay Mobile app. You will be prompted with a permission request for Assay Mobile to find and connect the devices on your local network. This is for the connection to available backup client application. Tap Allow. Another permission request will be prompted for you to allow Assay Mobile to send notifications. Tap Allow. Click Next and tap Allow to provide Assay Mobile the permission to use your camera to scan the QR code. Once the QR code is detected, tap OK to proceed. Now that we have successfully paired the Assay Mobile app with Assay OBM, let's go back to Assay OBM. Here, you can see the registered iOS device that we have just configured, as well as the directory path where the backup files are stored at. The default path is the folder Documents from the C drive, the same local drive that houses the operating system. Click the Edit icon to change this, as using the C drive might cause the machine to crash once it runs out of space. After changing the storage directory, go back to your Assay Mobile app. You may now select the photos and videos you aim to back up. Tap OK to proceed. For this, I'll select Photos and Videos only, then tap Done. A permission request will be prompted for Assay Mobile to access your photo library. You can select Limit Access, Full Access, or Don't Allow. Selecting Full Access will allow Assay Mobile to access all your photos and videos. This setting ensures that all existing photos and videos, along with any new photos and videos taken on your devices, will be automatically backed up. Well, Limit Access will allow you to manually select which photos and or videos will be selected for backup. However, this also means that you'll have to manually select recently taken photos and videos each time to be backed up. For this, I'll select Limit Access. Tap the photos and videos to back up, then Done to continue. Now we have selected the photos and videos to back up. But before we proceed with the backup, 
Let's further discuss the other featured settings on Asay Mobile, which can be used to make your backup process efficient. On your Asay Mobile app, tap the More section. You can see here several settings that are enabled and disabled by default. Let's start with the automated backup. Automated backup will run when Asay Mobile app is running in the background. Due to iOS restrictions, the automated backup may be disabled if Asay Mobile app is not open or used regularly. Moving on, the option Backup while charging only is disabled by default. Enabling this setting simply means that backups will only run when your device is connected to a power source, either physically with a charging cable or via wireless charging. Meanwhile, Power Saving Mode is enabled by default. This setting will hold the backup when the battery is below 30%. On the other hand, we also have the Free Up Space setting. Tap on it and manually enable the feature. Posting more photos and videos on different social media applications inevitably consumes more of your limited storage space. This setting optimizes the management of storage space on your mobile device to ensure you never run out of space, no matter how many photos and videos you take by permanently deleting the oldest backed up photos or videos when the device's free storage space falls below the preset limit, which you can choose from 20GB up to 150GB. Additionally, it can save you money by avoiding the need to upgrade your mobile device for more storage. Take note, due to operating system limitations for iOS devices, the removed items will remain in the recently deleted folder for up to 40 days. It is highly recommended to manually clear the folder to release storage space quicker. For this, let's select 20 gigabytes. You may also select which files you prefer to remove first based on the latest modification video files, or all media and files, which would include photos and videos. Let's keep the default selection, which is video files, as they are usually much larger and take up more storage space. Lastly, we have the retention policy. Tap on it and manually enable the setting. When enabled, the deleted files on the backup storage on your Asay OBM or Asay ACB machine will be kept for a certain number of days you set it on, which varies from 30, 60, 90, 180, and 365 days. For this, I'll select 365 days to make sure that the old deleted files from the backup storage will be kept for one year, exceeding the 40 days retention policy of recently deleted folder of iOS devices. Now that you've learned the basics of mobile backup for your iOS device, let's proceed with backing up your photos and videos. On your Asay mobile app, go to the backup section, tap backup, this will prompt the backup job. You may pause the backup by tapping Stop and continue by tapping Resume. After a successful backup job, you can see a summary of the number of photos and videos backed up. If retention policy is enabled, the number of photos and videos permanently removed from retention will also appear. At the upper right corner of the screen, tap Log to see the log report of the backup job, which contains information on the number of photos and videos backed up, updated, or deleted, as well as the information if there were files moved to the retention area and indication whether the backup was completed. After checking the log, tap Done. To check your backup photos and videos, go back to your Asay OBM machine and check the mobile backup from settings. Click on the folder icon. This will prompt the file explorer with the directory path of the backup files shown. Click Blocks. Then the folder containing the date and time of the backup job. Then open the subfolder named Zero. Here are the photos and videos we have already backed up. In situations where you experience accidental deletion of your photos and videos, you can still recover them. In this scenario, I'll show you how to restore the photos and or videos you have lost. Just go to the backup section in your Asay mobile app and tap Restore. You can select both photos and videos to completely restore all your photos and videos from your backup. Or, you can manually select the specific ones you wish to restore. This is what we're going for. I'll open Photos, and you'll see the photos that have just been deleted. Tap on the photos you aim to restore, and tap Done. After selecting the deleted photos from our backup, tap Restore. The Restore page says Restoration completed successfully, with the number of photos restored matching the number of photos we have selected earlier. That's how easily you can recover your photos and or videos when accidentally deleted. Tap Done. 
And that's how you back up your photos and videos from your iOS device using ASA Mobile and ASA OBM. With ASA Mobile, you will never have to worry about paying for expensive cloud storage subscription to keep your photos and videos backed up and protected from data loss. It can also save you money by avoiding the need to upgrade your mobile device for more storage. Start backing up your iOS devices now and install ASA Mobile for a safe, convenient, and cost-effective backup solution. Simple, smart, and free. ASA, keep your mobile data safe with us.